up. Oh my God, I thought, how's your mama doing? Uh, this is funny. This is fucked up. I thought, I see, the, see, things are making itself, make it, shit, shit that happens in the world makes me look good. When I say certain shit about reality shows, about reality shows, what happens? Oh, are you ready? It shows that I've been telling the truth. Reality shows ain't shit. Amber Portwood has been sentenced to five years in the penitentiary. Five years, the 22 year old has been sentenced in February, so she got three years in it. Three years in the. In the she got three years for one charge, possession of prescription drugs, possession of prescription drugs, two for violence because you remember the first time she got arrested she was beating up her baby daddy, but see this is, see I'm going to tell you all this man, this is what happens when you get on that, when you start getting on that, that damn TV show. When you start doing reality shows like it, because one thing is, <laughs> shit don't play out as you want to. Shit don't pan out, play out with like you want to. Like you supposed to think, I'm on MTV. I'm on MTV. I'm on MTV. I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm on VH1. I'm on VH1. I'm on Real World, Road Wars, Team Moms. Now, now I'm gonna tell y'all this. Like I said, man, Dr. Drew is making money off this shit. Dr. Drew is going to make a lot of money off this woman. Uh, watch, watch. He's going to make money off this shit. He's not, he, I don't know. He's about to get a fucking paycheck. Because one thing if one thing is he could have did was stepped in and intervened before this shit got any farther. But he didn't. He still sat there like a little bitch. And let this shit continue and catch it on film. Now you can't sit up there and say, oh, oh, we love Dr. Drew. We love Dr. Drew and Teen Moms and uh, 16 and Pregnant. Oh, we love, it. no, no, no. It's like, it's, don't take up for MTV, man. This is MTV fault for having this show. Because one thing, they promoting Teen Pregnancy. That's for one damn thing. They knew this, this, that some of these damn kids was going to, fuck up somewhere down the line and they could have had any chance to pull the plug could have sit there and pulled it for a while let these kids get some help professional help instead of continue on these damn TV shows looks like looks like she gonna miss out on her kids birthdays for five years by the time she gets out she be with uh by like 27 she be 27 years old and her child probably be like 6 or 7. And I'm telling you, man, this girl's going to jail. See what happens when you go on these TV shows. You think you're reaching for success, but you're not. You really ain't. Why would anybody... Now, one thing is, it'd be kind of hard to hire one of the damn teen moms for a damn commercial ad. Teen pregnancy, wrap it up. C coming from a... Mm, it's just like that whole Bristol Paling and Mike the Situation when they did that commercial. Wrap it up. Okay, coming from two motherfuckers. One smushed and one that got pregnant. <laughs> See, when, I'm telling you, man. This girl could have got good... They could have sat there and got her some good help. Could have sent her to a doctor. Could have hooked her up. Could have got to see what's wrong with her. Could she went. Could have sat there and tried to see what was wrong with her. What was her malfunction? Why she was hopping up on prescription drugs? Why was she abusing her baby daddy? It makes no sense. And Dr. Drew is making a fucking paycheck off of this shit. What was that skinny girl name? They uploaded a video up on YouTube 
it was a fight video and she got in trouble for it and then there was that mark that girl uh what was that red-headed girl name she moved to chattanooga and she ended up getting in a car wreck see i'm telling y'all man Now let all that damn power go to their fucking head. And look what happens. She got five years in opinion. I feel bad for her, man. Her baby, I'll tell you this. Her damn baby dad ought to be jumping for joy. He ought to be jumping for joy because I feel bad for him. Because I seen what happened. I seen the tape. How he got his ass beat up by this girl. And he, y'all was sitting up there calling him a punk and shit. Oh, he's a punk. I don't know that one. Then your wife beat him. Now think about it. He had, to, he had to think about it. Either get my ass whooped by my baby mama or go to fucking jail. I'd rather really take that ass whooping. Because I wanted to see my child the next, next damn day. This girl's fucked up, got arrested, five years of the fucking penitentiary. <sighs> I'm telling you, man, don't sit down. And it's a cigarette. Don't sit there and try to take up for shit like this, man. If I've been bitching and complaining about shows being a motherfucker on how... Promoting teen pregnancy is a good thing and shit like that. And I tell you something big is gonna happen. Cause I just did a video about that shit singing reality shows. Or something it was uh it was about the Tim Poe guy. And I said, I'm just waiting for something big to happen. And it was showing that I'm intending the truth from the get go. Now it is showing that I was telling the truth from the get go that this shit is fucked up it's fake it's not they really didn't give a fuck about these kids what do these kids got of it I'm telling you what do these kids get out of it nothing these damn teenagers don't get nothing you're supposed to be sitting up behind the reality show don't these people get paid if they got paid, man, they wouldn't be living in the conditions that they live in now. Y'all ain't guiding them, helping them, what's so fucking ever, man. Look what happened. It makes no sense, man. It really doesn't. Now this girl going to prison for five years. They knew this girl had a fucking problem. Knew this girl had a problem. And all they did was sit back. And let this shit happen. They ain't even thinking about getting this girl some help. All they thought about was their fucking paycheck. And that shows you right there, man. That's fucked up. Dr. Drew thought about that paper more than these damn people's lives. He had the fucking power to end that show. Just like that. He had the power to say, hey, let's stop. Let's get stop this. Makes no sense. This girl needs professional help. Let's get her checked in. He had the power to put a stop to these damn shows. Because you know one thing is, every time you turn on the fucking TV, you're going to hear about one of these damn girls fucking up. See what happened? You don't put them kids in that kind of shit. You do not put kids in the fucking, oh, where they got pregnant. Yeah, they got pregnant, man. Babies having babies. Like they say, babies having babies. Kids having kids. But, but, but sitting there promoting it on MTV, that ain't that helping nobody. They know, like, like for real, though, back when I was a teenager, back when my mom was a teenager, back when my grandparents was teenagers <laughs> it was it was hard for a teen parent that is that was struggling that was the teens had to struggle to get by work two jobs to take care of baby every 
everybody knows that, man. When my sister was uh, got pregnant, she had to bust her ass to take care of two kids. She didn't, there wasn't no damn show called 16 and pregnant when I was in my teens. But I tell you this though, I tell you this man, this is bullshit. And I'm telling you man, I've been right since day one. These damn shows ain't about shit, but about that paper. Every time a girl, a 16 year old girl gets pregnant, what happens? What happens? They go on MTV. Then their lives get fucked up. Then they do something stupid. Just because they think, oh, I appeared on 16 and Pregnant Teen Moms. They let their power get to their they little fucking head. They get power hungry. Then they do more shit and they fuck up. See, y'all, these motherfucking shows ain't helping nobody, man. They can't. They pretty much. They pretty much, man, fuck people over. This girl got fucked, as I say. That's all I gotta say to that. She got fucked, man. She got the short end of the straw, man. No, they could have stopped production knowing that this girl had issues. They know this girl that had an issue. And they, oh man, I'm telling you, man, MTV know how to fuck shit up. What happened when, uh, Roll, uh, what was it, Real World, Hawaii, Ruthie got alcohol poisoning and they show that shit on? Oh, uh, and they got good paper because of it? What that girl get? A trip to the fucking hospital. That's all that was. That's all that was. Ain't see these promote shit, man, to get that paper. So if you get hurt, you get killed, you get stabbed, you get shot, you get whatever, they gonna promote that shit. And people's lives are ruined because they don't give two shits over fuck. They they oh. They could have, oh man, they could have helped this girl. They could have helped this girl whatsoever. They could have hooked her up. Got a therapy. Could have got a therapy. Could have got a help. Could have put in rehab. Could have did something just to help this girl. And all they did was bullshit. Now this girl going to prison and she going to be spending five years in a penitentiary while her little girl growing up without her. And I'm telling you, man, this girl, that makes no sense. I just don't get it, man. This girl going to jail for possession of drugs and violence. Out of, every, out of everything in the world, people still want to watch this show. After <gasps> I tear this girl. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I, I'm, I'm just pretty much shocked that I'm right that I've been right from the get-go. And it's funny. It's fucked up that I did this, this, this. That the, the. It shows that I've been telling the truth about this shit. Ain't, th ain't this funny? This shit is showing everything. <laughs> this is funny. 
that this story proves that this I've been right from the get go. I'm feel I feel bad for that baby though. Fuck the girl though. That girl that girl could have got help when she when she had the chance. Now this girl's fucking up. Could have got help when she needed it. And all she did was sit up there and play around, start beating up people, uh, popping pills and shit. Now that girl gonna spend five years in the penitentiary. That girl ain't never gonna see her little girl grow up. She gonna miss five birthdays, five Christmases, five birthdays, five Halloweens. That's how it is, man. I'm telling you, man. Shows like these, man, they don't need a round. Cause all it's doing, hey, all it's doing is just fuck. It's just screwing people over, man. Just screwing people over, man. Is that is that how MTV want to do it? Is that how they want to do it when they want to want to get their papers, fuck their lives, uh, make their lives much worse? Or, And that's how it is. These shows are, ain't helping these kids. Mm. Where's Dr. Phil when you need him, man? Because I think Dr. Phil had a better chance helping these people than Dr. Drew did. All Dr. Drew did was fuck their lives up even more. That's all that is to it. That's all there is to it. This girl ain't never gonna see that cute little girl grow up, man. Man, like I can say, man, I, I bet her baby daddy like, hallelujah, bitch, you going to jail for five years. Fuck yeah. That's what he's thinking right now. Damn, she's going to jail. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to give me some good coochie. Yeah, at least he ain't, ain't got to put up with that girl for five more years, man. Shit. He gets to take care of his daughter, get some good coochie, find somebody that really loves him for him instead of beating his ass every damn day while she's popping pills and shit. I'm telling you, man. I, I, these kids today don't know nothing. Don't know nothing, man. Don't know nothing, man. They they too much of in a fucking hurry to grow the fuck up. I'm gonna put the story in the description box, and that's how it is, man. These kids are too much of in a fucking hurry to grow up, so they get knocked up. I don't know when to do. I don't know when to do. I'm scared. I'm scared, mama, daddy. I don't know what to do. I'm pregnant. See, that's your fucking problem. You jump right into fucking so quickly that you don't think about the consequences. When you choose the action, you choose the consequence. See what happened? To, see, this girl chose her action. And look where it got it. Five years in the fucking penitentiary. Damn. This bad bitch is like a motherfucker right there. <sighs> Damn. I'm telling you, man, y'all need to take a lesson from this shit, man. Y'all need to let these kids know, man. Just because MTV shows it on their network doesn't mean your life going to get any better. There's kids that thought smarter get, gets paid a lot more money than these fucking kids today getting pregnant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe 10 like TIS. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And if you don't like what I got to say, you kiss my ass. If you do like what I got to say, reply to, reply, leave a comment or a video response. Holler at me. Peace, love, and Afro grease. Yay, yay.